Swansea 0 to 1 Southampton substitute Manolo Gabbiadini brought Southampton close to safety as they saw off Swansea 1 to 0 at the Liberty Stadium, confirming West Brom's relegation from the Premier League. The result means Swansea must hope they beat Stoke on Sunday and Huddersfield lose their last two games, while Southampton will be safe barring a defeat against Manchester City and a large goal swing towards Swansea. Gabbiadini grabbed the winner with 17 minutes remaining after a scramble inside the penalty area, one of few clear-cut opportunities in a nervy encounter. The game opened up in the second half after a KG first Swansea, Fabianski, 6, Roberts, 5, Norton, 6, Fernandez, 6, Mawson, 6, Olsen, 5, Ki Sung Young, 5, King, 5, Klukas, 6, A. AU, 5, J. AU, 5, Subs, Abraham, 5, Narsing, 5, Carroll, Nar Southampton, McCarthy, 8, Cedric, 7, Bednarik, 7, Coat, 7, Stevens, 8, Bertrand, 7, Romeo, 6, Hojbjerg, 6, Tadic, 6, Redmond, 6, Austin, 6 subs, Gabbiadini, 7, Long, 6, McQueen, Nar man of the match. Alex McCarthy with so much at stake, the first half was a cagey affair, with half chances falling to Sam Klukas and Charlie Austin inside the penalty area, but things picked up in the second. Jordan A forced a wonderful fingertip save from Alex McCarthy having cut inside from the left and unleashed a fine effort from 20 yards which was bound for the top corner. Gabby Adini turned home the winner in the 73rd minute Saints should have been ahead on the hour mark, but Austin's header in space 8 yards out from Cedric Sores cross was straight at Wukash Fabianski. But on 72 minutes they did break the deadlock as sub Gabby Adini, who had been on the pitch for just 5 minutes, drove home from close range after Alfie Mawson had blocked Shane Long's volley on the goal line. Huddersfield need just a point against Chelsea or Arsenal in their last two games to confirm safety, while Swansea need to beat Stoke in their final game and hope Huddersfield lose their last two games, or Swansea need to beat Stoke and hope Southampton lose heavily against Man City with a 10-goal swing to go with it. Gabby Adini's substitution was a result of luck and a brave move by Mark Hughes, with the Italian striker replacing defender Jan Bednarek, who had concussion but did not want to be taken off. Shane Long missed a chance to wrap it up late on, hitting into the side netting when the square pass to the unmarked Gabby Adini seemed the better option, but after a nervy finish, Mark Hughes' side held on. Carlos Carvalhau made three changes for the Swans, bringing in Norton, King and Klukas from the side that lost 1-0 to Bournemouth at the weekend. Van der Horn, Carroll and Dyer all dropped down to the bench. Southampton made two changes from the side that drew 1-1 at Everton last time out. Stevens came in for the suspended Yoshida, while Redmond was also recalled in place of Lemona, who dropped out of the squad. Man of the match. Alex McCarthy after largely spectating in the first half, McCarthy was called into action early in the second, producing a world-class save from Jordan Ayew's dipping volley. The 28-year-old, who replaced Fraser Forster as Saints' first-choice goalkeeper earlier this season, also commanded his area superbly, particularly late on as Swans peppered the box. The manager's Carlos Carvalhau, at the end of the game we had the feeling that we deserved a little more, a minimum of one point. But we played to win.
Now we are in the position where we rely on others but we are not relegated yet. Mark Hughes, I have to say, to a man, they've worked their socks off. Every single day. Every single game. Some games we've had things go against us and have had to pick ourselves up, but I thought we were immense today. We weren't going to be denied. Oriol Romeo takes on Klukas in the first half Swansea have failed to score in eight different Premier League home games this season, more than any other side. Seven of Southampton's last 11 away Premier League victories have been against sides starting the day in the relegation zone. Only Stoke, 13, are on a longer winless run in the Premier League than Swansea, 8, D3L5. Swansea have failed to score in 8 of their 12 Premier League clashes with Southampton, scoring just 5 goals in total in those matches. Manolo Gabbiadini has netted two goals in his last four away league games for Southampton after failing to find the back of the net in the previous 12. Swansea host Stoke on Sunday in their final Premier League game, while Southampton welcome champions Manchester City to St Mary's.